Okay, so let's take a look at my mining farm at my apartment. Now, this is a June 2023 update where I'll walk you through my mining rigs, my chia farm, as well as discuss the temperature, the electricity, the sound, and my profits. So thanks for tuning in. This is the life of a miner. Now this is my mining farm at my apartment, which I had since 2017. At my apartment, I do have fixed electricity costs and I currently operate seven GPU rigs and my Chia farm. Now, fortunately, it hasn't been excessively hot outside, so I haven't needed to set up the exhaust system yet to remove the heat as of now. So starting with the temperature, it's around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, equivalent to approximately 27 degrees Celsius. However, these temperatures can vary between 80 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the time of day. So now let's check out my mining rigs. Now most of the GPU rigs are mining on Nice Ash, and the Chia farm utilizes hard drives to farm Chia. The GPU mining rigs on Nice Ash are mining Caspa and is converting it to Bitcoin for me. So first, I have an 8GPU mix NVIDIA mining rig. It consists of a variety of GPUs, including the 3080Ti, the 3080, two GTX 1080s, two NVIDIA Titan XPs, the RTX 3060, and the RTX 2080 Ti. This rig is currently mining on NiceHash. Next is a 6GPU GTX 1070 mining rig, exclusively equipped with GTX 1070 GPUs. This mining rig is also mining on NiceHash. Moving on, I have a 6GPU AMD mining rig. It features three RX 5700 XTs, one RX 5600 XT, one RX 6600 XT, and one Radeon 7. And this mining rig is currently mining Ethereum Classic. Now let's take a look at my 6GPU mix NVIDIA rig, which includes two RTX 3090s, two RTX 3080s, and two RTX 3070s. And this mining rig is mining on NiceHash. I also have a Chia farm set up connected to my 6GPU GTX 1070 mining rig, where all my GPUs are GTX 1070s, and this setup is also mining on NiceHash. And here are all the hard drives for my Chia farm. Lastly, I have a smaller rig consisting of an RTX 3060 Ti, a GTX 1080, and a Ryzen 9 3900X CPU. And this mining rig is also mining on NiceHash. Now in the mining room, I do have this small setup here. I use this setup if I need to physically access my mining rigs, although I mainly control my mining rigs remotely using Google Remote Desktop. Now one useful tool I have is this KVM switch, allowing me to connect up to four computers to a single monitor. So let's check this out. You gotta put your past behind you. Look kid, bad things happen and you can't do anything about it, right? Wrong! When the world turns its back on you, you turn your back on them. Located right here is my ethernet switch for all my mining rigs. Now let's move on to the electricity and measure the power consumption. So in my apartment, I have access to a minimum of 50 amps of power. To ensure everything is in order, I had an electrician thoroughly inspect and validate the setup. Now let's remove the electrical panel and take measurements. To 
measure the power I'll be using this clamp meter. Please note that this is an extremely dangerous task and I strongly against attempting to do this unless you're properly trained. So now measuring this wire, I'm using approximately 24 amps. So as you can see, I'm well below utilizing 80% of my available power capacity. Now let's talk about the sound. The average noise level in the mining room is around 64 decibels. So let's have a listen. Now, according to the decibel scale, at 64 decibels, it's comparable to a volume of a conversation. Okay, now let's use this heat gun to measure the temperature of my mining farm and the GPUs. So let's check this out. Okay, next is my gaming computer, and the GPU I have in here is a 3080 Ti. Let's now take a look at my test bench. It's currently equipped with the GTX 1070, and a test bench is a valuable tool for testing GPUs and troubleshooting. Now, I have been fortunate to have cool weather at the moment, but as temperature rises, I'll need to set up the exhaust system to manage the increasing heat in my mining farm. Now, as the temperature continues to rise, it's time for me to set up my exhaust system. I have three powerful exhaust fans at my disposal, an eight inch exhaust fan and two 12 inch exhaust fans. To further combat the heat, I'll be using a portable AC unit to keep the room cool, especially during the scorching summer months. Additionally, I'm planning to install plastic sheets in this section of the mining farm to ensure the rest of the house remains cool. Stay tuned for the next update, where I'll share the progress on the exhaust system, AC unit, and the plastic sheet installation. And finally, let's dive into my mining profits. Firstly, let's take a look at NiceHash. Currently, all my mining rigs on NiceHash are mining Caspa and is earning approximately $4.11 a day. Additionally, my AMD mining rig, Mining Ethereum Classic, is generating around 73 cents per day. This brings my total daily earnings to approximately $4.84 per day. However, it's important to note that profits fluctuate on a daily basis. What I earn today may differ significantly from what I'll be earning a week or a month from now. So thanks for checking out my June 2023 update on my mining farm at my apartment. Now it is not profitable to GPU mine for most people unless you have really cheap or free electricity. So I've been exploring alternative passive income strategies and diversifying my portfolio. I'll be sure to provide regular updates on my mining farm. So stay tuned for more exciting updates in the near future. But of course, Thanks for watching and always happy mining.